So in our video today, we're going to have a look at a reaction that's a thermal decomposition reaction. So this is where we use heat to break down a compound into simpler substances. And I've got two examples for you. Our first example is we're going to have a look at copper carbonate and we're going to break down or heat copper carbonate and it will decompose to form copper oxide plus carbon dioxide. So before I show you the heating and the thermal decomposition, I just want to confirm with you the colours of these substances. So copper carbonate is a green solid and then when we heat it, it decomposes and breaks down into copper oxide, which you maybe remember from previous topics is a black powder. So that should be the colour change that we see in this reaction. We should see it going from green to black. Okay, so here we have a test tube with just some copper carbonate and I can see that green colour like we saw before. Now with a thermal decomposition reaction, we're not adding anything else to it. All we're doing is heating this compound and it will break down. It's the heat that causes it to break down. So when we heat it on the Bunsen burner, it will start to decompose into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. So we will start to see it turning a black powder and the black color is forming and the green disappearing. You might be able to start to see it turning black on your screen. Now, as you know, we'll not be able to see the carbon dioxide produced, but in my next video, I'll show you how we can prove that carbon dioxide is one of the products of this reaction. So we can see the color change from green to black. So it's showing that copper carbonate has decomposed and turned into copper oxide. So as you saw there in the experiment, we got copper carbonate and the chemical formula for copper carbonate is CuCO3. And when we heated it, it broke down into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. And you saw the color change. Copper carbonate is green and copper oxide is black. In our second example, we're gonna have a look at what happens whenever calcium carbonate decomposes. So calcium carbonate is a white solid. And when it decomposes, it breaks down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and there's the chemical equation for it. And I'm gonna show you the reaction next that proves that carbon dioxide gas is produced in this reaction. So in this experiment, I'm just gonna heat some calcium carbonate. So as you can see, calcium carbonate is a white powder. And when it decomposes, it will break down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Now calcium oxide is also a white powder, so we won't see a color change this time. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use some lime water and we're going to try to prove that carbon dioxide gas is produced. So we're going to use this, heat this test tube and put a stopper in it and then use our delivery tube down into the, car the lime water. So when the carbon dioxide is produced, the lime water should turn cloudy. So if I just heat this gently, spread out a wee bit in the test tube, heat this gently and see if we can get carbon dioxide gas given off. So again, a thermal decomposition reaction, there's nothing else added to it. We just heat the reactant and it's the heat that causes it to break down and decompose. So we're starting to see some bubbles being produced here. And if the lime water turns cloudy, then that will prove that it's carbon dioxide that's produced. Just give this a twist to heat it evenly. It's a wee bit slower than the cop copper carbonate. If you can notice on the screen that the 
lime water has turned cloudy or slightly cloudy. So that proves that there's carbon dioxide produced when that decomposed. So just to summarize this reaction then, a metal carbonate will decompose when heated and it will produce a metal oxide and carbon dioxide gas.